very special afternoon to each one of us present here. And uh, my very special thanks to my dear friend, Mr. Jay Prakash Nagathalli. You must have listened to his speech. Wow, what an amazing speaker he is. Absolutely amazing, right? So everybody just loves listening to him. He can just go on and on and on and on, on and on, right? It's not just for one or two minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 13 minutes, one hour, two hours, and he can just go beyond. And his TV shows too are absolutely stunning and fabulous. You should check that out. I used to see him Chandana on uh, TV. His mind uh, blowing. And he has been here earlier too. He had visited our uh, school some time ago as one of the chief guests for annual, I mean, uh, for environment uh, day celebrations. Uh, that was on the 5th of uh, June. And subsequently, he was also here with his uh, family. Yes, it's a close knit connectivity. That's what I would uh, say. Thank you, Mr. Chair Prakash Nagathandi, for being here among us and spending such a valuable uh, time. And then, my very special thanks to all the audience, especially the parents of our students, who are patiently seeing the amazing demo of their students, and I think it's just been very much enjoyable. Thank you, thank you. And the other thing is, I would like to thank the entire team of Magnific Public School. They are just awesome. And we have a special culture in Magnific. I think you might be aware of it. It's not always about rules and regulations. Of course, we are very disciplined in everything we do. But we work as a family. The entire unit works as a family here. This is what Magnific is very, very special about. We respect everyone. The cleaning staffs are admired and respected. The non-teaching staffs are respected, admired. And our teaching stamps, staff is also respected and admired. And the students, always, they are motivated in every possible manner. And there's a reason you can see that. The mindset of our students is slightly different, that's what I can say. Because they are very, very confident. Because it's always not fear-oriented. They come here, good morning, sir, how are you, uh, uh, sir? They come, they interact with me when the teacher comes, good morning, ma'am, how are you, ma'am? They are very, very confident. They come, shake their hands, and it's... Coming to Magnific itself is like a celebration for them. And the green environment here makes everything possible, right? And then, I would like to ask some questions, or rather simple questions to you. Sports and games are very important to us, right? We love sports and games. As children, we have been playing sports. As adults, we have been playing sports, right? And we continue playing sports if you have the right resources, isn't it? Because sports is funny, it keeps us literally very, very fit. And I want to ask the audience, or our students too, how many of you like to play cricket or football? You love cricket, but football and rishta, na? Yaar ga rishta? Rishta tha ne? Okay, fine, fantastic. So one advantage of playing sports is you definitely develop leadership qualities. Do you believe that? Now, when I talk about leadership qualities, let's assume cricket to be more specific and simplified. You have the batsman who does his job, he's supposed to score a good number of runs, right? If the team has to win. The bowler has to bowl very well. And he has to get wickets, and he should see that the opponents, the opponents don't get many runs. And the wicket keeper is supposed to do his job, and the fielders are supposed to do their job, right? When everybody is doing their work, and then it's a matter of celebration because the team is definitely going to win, isn't it? And the same thing works too with football also. You have the goalkeeper, you have the forward, you have the centre forward, you have the defenders. The defender is supposed to do his job, the centre forward is supposed to do his job, the forward is supposed to do his job, the goalkeeper is supposed to save the goals. Everybody specifically does their job and eventually what happens is the team wins. So by playing sports, by playing games, eventually what you tend to do is you develop leadership qualities. You tend to respect your coach, you interact with your coach, you tend to interact with your teammates, you plan up strategies, right? And you understand the strengths of the other team. You learn, you understand, you make yourself physically fit. Without being physically fit, there is not much you can do, right? Health is, well, there is no doubt about it. And it's all a matter of discipline. It's all a matter of performance. We are disciplined, we are in a position to perform very well, right? So everything just goes with a flow from one sequence to the other to the second, to the third, and eventually we become champions. And then in real life too, we tend to realize uh, that 
टीम वर्क इज वेरी वेरी मच एसेंशियल डोंट यू बिलीव दैट वाई टीम वर्क इज एसेंशियल नाउ लेट्स एज्यूम स्कूल इट सेल्फ इन स्कूल वर्चुअली एवरीबडी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट नाउ यू मैट टू वन गिंग इन स्कूल हु इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पर्सन or in an organization it could be a software firm or it could be a construction for anybody can you tell me who is the most important person in a school or a college or any of the firms anybody don't know who is the most important person don't know yaar gutra gotilla anta kanatella ha students okay students important no no doubt about it yen madam teachers or oh, teachers are very important teachers illa school in nadsakagadilla no doubt about it I strongly believe that the most important people in an organization are the security guards and the cleaning staff. Why right. don't you believe the security guard provides you the security for your school to function properly, your company to function properly? It could be a software firm, a software firm, right? There could be computers and there could be things which are very very expensive. He is securing that. there could be a bank a lot of money is just kept they are providing the security for that isn't it don't you feel the security card is doing a now awesome job and the next thing is the cleaning staff we need to really 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 respect the cleaning staff i sincerely will not let it thank our cleaning staff because they are the one who keeps your surroundings clean your office clean for you to work right and they create a healthy environment in the toilets and the entire surroundings are definitely taken care of so that is their contribution and by and large teachers are there the directors are there the sports uh, masters are um, there the administrators are there the principals are uh, there the accountants are there yes everybody has their own role and they are definitely definitely important right so all of us collectively work as a team and the organization becomes successful and also especially in a school or a college the parents to are very important without parents without students a school or college cannot exist right it is eventually their support which will take the school or an organization much more further and further and on that aspect a very big round of applause to all the parents of magnific public school here for their participation in the events and their consistent and continuous support thank you thank you thank you very much god bless you you have been really nice and kind to us and we promise to deliver our best and you'll have a great 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 continuity of developments in magnific uh, public school and we'll see that every day there'll be some development or that will provide you the best we are the best teachers we have beautiful ambience here which is very very green nowhere else and bang and magnific public school is considered as one of the greenest school in bangalore a big round of applause for that nowhere can you find this kind of set up you can find big 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 buildings which are vertically rise but studying in nature just like the feel of a gurukul you know it's it just it will take you back in time you study in a gurukul with all the rishis everything you feel just wonderful right and in our campus i'll tell you it's not just about trees we tend to attract beautiful birds too there are so many peacocks in the campus have you heard any prepare uh, that peacocks come to your school no no right in magnific we have ample amount of peacocks here and a great round of applause to this beautiful green environment at magnific public school because it is connecting with um, nature and then beyond that i have been telling you about leadership qualities and i have been telling you about i'll be telling you about something very very important here one thing sports tend to make you do is it will connect you with like minded people right sports are definitely going to connect you with like minded people don't you agree to that now for example i like tennis i was also a tennis player long time uh, ago i used to play in the junior uh, state level uh, tournaments uh, everything i still love tennis i go watch international tournaments and i am there whenever any major championship uh, takes place in tennis what we uh, do or in any of the sport we check out who are having a similar passion for tennis right so what we do is if somebody is playing tennis and we become friends here right we develop on connectivity because okay you also like tennis so you also like tennis we are friends and somebody likes cricket i also like cricket the other person also like cricket we develop one kind of bond and somebody likes football i also like football yeah oh, yes come on let's go for a match let's play yeah we say we share uh, similar interests which club are you going where are you going yeah how's the club and so many questions arise and then we develop a bonding so 
directly, indirectly, in every possible manner, sports connect you, or rather there is a big emotional connectivity, isn't it? And we call this as a rapport. If you have similar interests, we develop bonding and connectivity, right? It's natural because we are all um, uh, human um, uh, beings. So that's how it is. And then, as you might be aware that things have become more and more digitalized, isn't it? Now these things are very, very digitalized. There was a time, especially in the heart of Bangalore or in the main city limits of Bangalore, I still remember, we used to play a lot of cricket next to our house, we used to play football, we used to take sticks and start playing uh, hockey because there were hardly any houses at that particular time, more than two decades ago, right? There were hardly any houses and there was so much of space. And then, in the 1990s, Bangalore witnessed a great transition in terms of the overall development. Everywhere, buildings, 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 skyscrapers, huge amount of development. And then it came at an expense. There is hardly any place for the kids to play. So on that aspect, what is happening is when the kids are not having enough place to play, and also because the influence of the digitalization, they are continuously connected with the mobiles. Always it is WhatsApp, it is Facebook, it is Instagram, or they are just Googling up uh, something. So on that aspect, what is happening is the physical strength of the children are be it's becoming lesser and lesser. See, earlier, the previous generation, uh, kids, they used to jump from the steps. When there was some stand which used to be put for construction, you know, they used to climb the wall and jump. Hello? They used to jump. And that was fun for them. That was an activity. Nowadays, I have seen some kids will be dancing and suddenly sometimes they slip and fall down, they tend to have a fracture. They jump from two or three steps and the weird bones are so weak, they get a fracture. And then, these are all the side effects of non-physical activities. And our human body is really amazing, as you yourself might be knowing that. The more you use, the stronger it gets, right? And many of us go to gyms, or at least some of us go to gyms, right? The idea of that is you want to have good biceps, you want to have a very strong uh, body, you want to look very, very impressive, and you want to have lots and lots of uh, energy levels. That is definitely there. Why you're lifting weights, you're working out, you're using treadmill, you're constantly putting your body under exertion. So on that aspect, you become stronger and stronger. Right? That's, the user, that's the reason people use dumbbells. The more you use, your biceps and your triceps and the hands become very, very the, the strong. So now when there is no, nothing to play, nothing to utilize, you're not having any physical activity, we become weaker and uh, weaker. So on this aspect, one thing I'll tell you about Magnific um, uh, Public School is, we have government of space, unlike other schools, where it's just a concrete building. You can play here, you can trek, you can go down and trek, you have a beautiful feel amidst um, the, the nature. And then you can use the campus completely for your well-being and for your physical um, the fitness. There are so many advantages here in Magnific. Magnific is really very special unlike any other school. It could be the connectivity to the parents. And also one thing is very special here in um, Magnific I would like to highlight here. Usually, in many of the schools, if uh, any child is having any kind of problem or if any parent wants to have any kind of discussion with the management or with the teachers, they generally tell that only on those specific days when you have the parents' teachers meeting, most probably once a month, you come and just, you can come and clear your problems and you can check out all the academic performance of your child. But here, Magnific, we are always available. We encourage the parents to to call us anytime. If you have any problems, please call us. We'll definitely help you out. And we take instant action. We don't uh, delay. If there's any problem, we are there. And if you want any kind of support, we are definitely there. And always, it is not about just during the school hours. It is beyond the school hours, evenings also. And many of the parents, you know, they call me at 10, 11, 11, 30 also. I attend. I tell them, if there is any problem, definitely we are there. We'll take care of it. Don't worry. We can assure you the same kind of culture we will continue with Magnific because Magnific is magnificent and we have our own rules which are for the betterment of the students and for the betterment and betterment of the parents and thank you everyone for having so much of confidence in us and for admitting your kids and we'll see that we give you the best and we'll see that your kids come out as the toppers in every possible manner and this is a commitment from my side and from the entire team of Magnific thank you thank you thank you God bless you and once again thanks to our wonderful team of Magnific and thanks to all the parents here thank you God bless you have a have a very pleasant afternoon and a very pleasant day thank you